To create an event handler extension, you best start from the SDK template API Onboarding Event Handler. We immediately could build and run the project, so we assigned the startup application to Vault Explorer. The template lists all events that the API provides for web services. In particular, a user action like move folder splits into three API events, get restriction, pre, and post. To prevent users from accidentally moving folders, we use the get restriction event. In any restriction handler, the related event arguments class has a method called add restriction. This method invokes a built-in functionality, displaying a dialog informing the user about the context and reason that led to the restriction. Stepping into the details, we can review their arguments E variable. Here it is the object of the folder being moved and the sender. The current implementation would prevent any folder move so we don't have any differentiation that the movement is a planned action or limited to a specific type of folders like projects only. For our use case here, we continue coding to prevent the move of project folders in general. Therefore, we use the document service class given by the sender to query the folder's category and name. Another test proves the differentiation and the enhanced feedback to the user by adding the folder's name.